In 490 BC, the Athenians defeated the Persians in battle, and the Greek soldier, Phaeopides, ran approximately 26 miles from Marathon, Greece, to Athens to announce the victory. As Phaeopides arrived, he yelled out, Victory! and then promptly keeled over and died. Today we gather by the thousands to run a similar distance to test our might and prove our worth. One can only wonder what would have happened had Phidippides had a few running gels on hand, so instead he could have arrived in Athens in front of the citizens and asked, You tried it! You tried that! The running episode, uh, Nick Novak with my pal Shad Hancock. <sighs> I'm here. I made it. Nick Geiger. Hello. And today we have a special guest, and this is our a, a listener and my friend, Allison. Allison, how are you? Great. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming on. Now we... Welcome. You've got us, you've got us these uh, running gels we're going to try today, and you are an accomplished runner, much more than those of us uh, on the show here. So yes. you've run, you run regularly. How yes. many marathons have you actually done? I have completed five marathons, but back I have to back? Tra- nice. I've trained for Resolve seven. Once. Oh, okay. uh, no, <laughs> that was cool. Definitely not. Although people do, people do do that. People run, there's like hundred mile races that I will never yeah. do. <laughs> yeah. Never. Those people are insane. Yeah, those people are insane. So I, I actually have that point of view about the marathon. So I've done a bunch of half marathons, um, including one year I insanely did seven in like a nice. single year, which was really stupid. And by the end of the seventh one, I was like, so like my body was just yeah. done. Um, but I always view the full marathon as just too much. You know what I mean? Like, like it takes me like anywhere between like two to two and a half hours to run a half marathon. And so then I'm thinking like at least double that. And it's just, I just can't imagine running for like four and a half hours. Right. I just want to blow my brains out. <laughs> um, well, yesterday I ran 20 miles. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that is like, right. but what scares me, <laughs> <laughs> it scares me because like, that's the longest you run before you actually run the full thing. So, I, I, right. Which is like, how the hell am I going to do this? Because I just ran 20, but then somehow I've got to make it another 6.2, which is like an hour more. So are you gearing up for another one right now? Or you just felt yes. like running 20 miles? No, <laughs> no way in hell that I feel like running 20 miles yesterday. Um, but I'm running the New York marathon in November. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wait, wasn't it yeah, rainy so. yesterday? Yes, it was rainy. Yeah. <laughs> It what, was. What are you running from, so, Allison? This is terrible. What are you doing? <laughs> Tell us about so, your childhood. What, is, what are you running from? It was like fine for the first four miles, and then I turned onto the lakefront path, and it was just like rain in my face, and like it immediately dropped like 15 degrees. And yeah, <laughs> people going the other way were like, it's much easier this way. So. <laughs> yeah, and running in the rain can be not bad but only when it's like really hot outside if it's cold outside i wouldn't want to run in the rain right it was yeah so it was much easier once i turned around uh so i had that to look forward to mm. but and the gels I had the gels to look forward to so. <laughs> no you you so you did use these gels you you took like one every hour you said yes i take one every hour so it's like, um, this is, I usually have this flavor. It's the, it's like a raspberry flavor. Um, mm-hmm. and so every hour it's like really crazy. I look forward to actually eating this and like, <laughs> I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it yeah. does anything or if it's all like in my head, but like, it makes me feel better. <laughs> now I've, so I've been on some, I, I don't, I don't like the, the gels too much when I'm running because I feel they end up sort of like right. getting all sticky in my mouth or whatever. Like my hands get sticky, something like that. Um, but I have yeah, run like true. when I've run the half marathons, like there'll be the food stations along the way. Um, and right. I remember there was one I was doing like a couple years ago and you know, normally you think you get to these food stations, they have like obviously water Gatorade, maybe like something salty, like peanuts or pretzels or something to just kind of like, but this one, they, they had like, little dixie cups full of m&ms and you could get uh you could get coke and (laughs) you could get um they had like little tiny slices of chocolate cake and i'm just like this seems like the wrong time for that mile five 
you know, I still got a couple hours to go and I'm putting back a slice of chocolate cake. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that on the races? Um, I said, well, usually it's like spectators handing things out. Like, oh, sure. Um, yeah, like, which I never, uh, I did take it once. Handing you cake? Handing you, uh, no, popsicles. There was, yeah, in one that I ran last summer, they were handing out popsicles and I, I did take one of those. It was like the single best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> So. so can I go to a race and just hand out and like with some yes. like if I just hand out like a roast beef sandwich, someone will grab it? Uh, probably. Probably, yeah. 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 Like a <laughs> bowl of chicken noodle <laughs> soup or something. Yeah. I think this um all right, this this might get a little gross. But the best thing a spectator ever handed me was on a race was um I for I forgot to do the uh usually I put like little band aids on the uh oh. boobies here. Yes. to prevent, you know, chafage on the nipples. Wait a minute. And um, Hold on, the what? <laughs> <laughs> on my man cans. I'm sorry, the, uh, <laughs> the what? <laughs> and so I forgot to do it in that race. And then I was like mile nine and it was just so painful. And there was one person standing on the side and they had like just a big tub of like lube that they were like giving to people <laughs> so that you could like lube your yes. breasts up. Uh, and I swear that guy was an absolute lifesaver. Like it made all the difference in the race. It's he true. didn't even know there was a race that day. He was always out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. There was just a whole row of people that were like their fetish was watching people race. Oh. And he was there with the lube. Geiger. Yeah. Geiger. I heard you ran to the mailbox one time. Is that right? Uh, no, I mean, the mail will be there when I get there. There's no reason for that. <laughs> what's the Geiger, What's the furthest you've run race wise? Like, what's the most mileage you've done in a single uh, city? Not the most mileage like, I've for done. For example, is probably a single mile <laughs> in the gym. Well, 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 I've played basketball with you before, and we've played for three or four hours at a time, and we ran a lot, right? Yeah. But I'm talking about when you just set out to run. Have you done a 5K before? Have you done any kind of race? No. 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 And no I have so not. what do you think is the furthest you ran? Like the mile the, in high literally school? Literally the mile in high school is probably the, the longest peak. consecutive run I've ever done. And I was, I hated it. I did it in like seven minutes or something. That's probably wrong because that's probably really good. I have no that's concept. Kind of fast. That, <laughs> that's a real, that's pretty yeah. good time. That's a pretty good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah uh, yeah. Been, no, I'm I've not been, saying you're lying, but that's pretty that's good. Okay. Pretty good. I've been running uh, pretty regularly for like the last 15 years, and I only recently did my first ever under seven right. minute mile. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't recall what it was. I'm pretty sure I was like four minutes and change. Uh, <laughs> but I did it because I wanted to. They had those presidential and those national like fitness. Things things and i sure. really wanted to right. get at least the national one so i got whatever the bare minimum time was for the mile to get it i really pushed myself because i hated distance running i was actually pretty fast at sprinting but just not distance and then i lost because of the stupid fucking sit and reach because oh. i had long legs and i'm not flexible mm -hmm. someone was pushing on my back which you're not supposed to allow someone to do but the gym teacher didn't care and I still couldn't get there. So, uh, uh, no, I teacher, hate running. Was the gym teacher the one pressing <laughs> on your back, just begging you to get it? <laughs> there, was, there was people, like, you're supposed to sit and hold it there, and they were literally letting someone shove me as hard as I could in the back just to try to, like, throw the bar forward, and I still couldn't get there. I'm just so inflexible. Like, uh. Yeah, I, I, I was, like, neg very negative on the sit and reach as well. Like, there was no... No also, coincidentally, my spine is bent in half ever since then. But uh, no, I just hate running as a thing. Like I like, like yeah. you know, like you mentioned the perfect thing of like when we play basketball. I have no problem running a ton then because I my brain is focused on the right. task at hand. Like it's I got to get the rebound or shoot or just not dribble out off my own foot. But like <laughs> when it's just running and there's no <laughs> point, they like just running and I can stop whenever I want. It's just so boring and just pure pain. And I just, and that's me. I don't, I should run more. I'm not in shape. I just would probably look for some other way to get in shape than running. Yeah. And I only like running. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to play any of those other sports. I don't think they do that presidential thing anymore, but I, I could be wrong. I don't think, I think ever since Trump became president, they no longer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. There's a right. much different set of criteria now. Yeah. Um, so Allison and I work together and there's, a, yes. there's a, a woman who works. Uh, Allison's the door down for me. Our office is the door down from mine. And then there's a, another woman, the, the next door down from that, 
who we just recently found has a very weird um, preference for how she drinks her soda every day. So, uh, Elsa, you were the one who heard right. this story firsthand and told it to me. Yes. Um, yes. First, uh, well, I heard this story like maybe second or third hand, but okay, but it's definitely I, true. I, I don't incredible. I, I, would look. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we need to work on confirming it somehow. I mean, if you nah, to know this lady, to know this lady, <laughs> when you hear the story and you and you see this lady, I mean, I think right, it could be right. really confirmed very easily. So tell us. <laughs> I think it's true. Yes. Tell us the way you so heard it. So she, okay. Uh, so I heard this like third hand, but she, so she every day has a Portillo's cup and it's a, it's a styrofoam Portillo's cup, which I guess um, is how Portillo's does their drinks. It's important to the story because other fast food places uh, do plastic cups, ah, I guess. The fact that it's styrofoam is important. Got it. The fact that it's styrofoam is very important. Portillo's so, hates the planet. We know. Go ahead. I guess so. Right. So she so she has this uh, styrofoam Portillo's cup, uh, but in it is Diet Coke from uh, McDonald's. <laughs> because, so OK. So, <laughs> yes, fuck. Right. So this is what she's figured out to be the perfect combination. Uh, uh, to, yes. She so, likes that that just that hint, that note of styrofoam. <laughs> In her yep. now, McDonald's actually does have a different Coke recipe than really? other yeah. fast so food chains and stuff. Yes, so that's that is true. true. Yeah. I didn't know the that. regular Coke. I know so, is supposedly so, sweeter than like standard Coke or something like that. Yeah. How how is that possible? Is... I don't know. They struck a this, deal with Coke. Okay, so that that, okay. Have, like, that may or may okay. not be, but th well, the fact that you to go to the lengths of buying a McDonald's right. Coke and pouring it into Portillo's cup. Oh yeah, means there's oh. issues. I'm not saying this shit ain't whack <laughs> right. as fuck, right? But right. like, you know, there at right. least is some twisted logic there. <laughs> so, how many times does she go to Portillo's then? Because those styrofoam well, cups can't last forever. Right. That's the question. I, we don't know. <laughs> that is. We don't question. know if it's the same, the same Portillo's cup. She has like her own styrofoam factory where she like grabs <laughs> packing peanuts and melts it down back into. A new I cup or something knowing this woman, I wouldn't be surprised. What we need to do is just casually we need to casually put like a, a little styro uh magic marker oh. x on her cup and then see yes. the next day if it's still there mm. track that x okay that's a good idea and then um, like yeah. carve right carve into the styrofoam <laughs> this this lady just on friday then now this is an older lady who shouldn't be she sh really shouldn't be drinking a bunch of daily diet cokes to begin with like this is, <laughs> is she one of your probably not a good decision for her as is if you can picture mm. her judge much no yes exactly right <laughs> this is important to the next part of the story yes because she's an elderly uh, woman i don't know how elderly? elderly i have no idea how old she is but she's probably 50 something i and don't either I, so I don't, she told us yeah. that she heard of it in a uh website where people go on they meet other people and just meet up with them for, on their lunch break and have sex. And that's the, she just told us to us like in a meeting. That it, <laughs> it's like let's meet. Let's... Is she thinking of it's just lunch, <laughs> which is like an actual <laughs> dating website? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. I so I that mentioned that a... right. I mentioned that to her, and she was like, "Oh, is that what it's called?" And she's like, "No, they meet up." <laughs> oh, she's you like mentioned they meet that. up in a okay. parking lot. <laughs> she said they meet up in a parking yeah. lot. Just for the purpose of having sex, right? So. Right, right. Specifically right. on their lunch break, right? Yes, yes, specifically. But it was just really—I don't know how that conversation got started. <laughs> you were all heading out to lunch, and she was like, "I know that." <laughs> She's like, "Hey, do you want to pour the old McDonald's Coke into the Portillo's cup? If you know what I mean." <laughs> <laughs> that website would be called if it did exist. It'd be called like Adult Lunch Finder or something, yeah. think, right? Lunchfuckers.com or, or just. It would just luncher with like an R. <laughs> Lunch. Luncher, yes. Just no E, just the R. Yeah. I have a very short lunch break, so it would make yes, it difficult. It's, no, that's mean. perfect for you. Yeah, yeah, from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 40 minutes, so we're not sure where she's going. Uh, since she makes it all the way to McDonald's every day, I think. <laughs> or or both. Right. So she has to restock. <laughs> or, yeah, or both. She definitely has to do that. Maybe she found so. some 
like you know how most portillos have like half of it is portillos and the other half is some shitty italian restaurant or like sometimes yes. there'll be like mm-hmm. a kfc and like a taco bell maybe there's like a mcdonald's portillos hybrid somewhere that, she's <laughs> that must be it one thing you could follow her and see what she does but i don't want to <laughs> have you lead her there and like you see her car just shaking in the parking lot of a portillos or something and right she met some paramour <laughs> of lunchbox.com or whatever <laughs> luncher <laughs> <laughs> it's luncher okay we decided <laughs> that was the best pitch luncher <laughs> we've got uh a lot of snacks to try here a lot of caffeine to consume so let's let's not hesitate um we've got five snacks and we're gonna tr- rate them on a five point scale a love debt like debt, indifferent to debt dislike debt, and hate debt. Let's start with um, one that would see maybe the most plain of these, and that's this strawberry uh, chia energy yes. gel. So most of these are from one company. This is the one that's yes. a little different. The company is called H- yes. Huma. Um, um, yeah. So when I went to buy these also, uh, it was – so I went to the local running store, and I- – I was told to get like interesting flavors and also ones that might taste terrible. And so, but when I walked into the store, I was the only person in there. So like immediately, like four salespeople like descended on me and started, started talking to me. Um, And they were just like, so nice. So I felt really bad and I didn't tell them what this was for either. So um, how are we going to get listeners if you're not telling people? (laughs) (laughs) It was a chance to promote. (laughs) Do the promotion that we refuse to do. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so this one, she said, is uh, more like organic and that also oh, people okay. eat it on toast before they run. It, it, so. tastes, it tastes like fucking strawberry jam, so I can see that. It says on the back, we have to always consume with water. Should I have gotten a glass of water? Is it if I'm going to eat the whole thing, I'm guessing? Oh, no, I think you can uh, consume perfect. it with Miller High Life. That should be okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I usually bring in my races. I have all those helmets on, the two bottles connected with the straw. Oh, sorry, you're supposed to eat this now? Yeah, so we'll eat it. It does. Okay. Oh, it this smells kind terrible. of strawberry jammy. Um, it smells awful. Allison, have you ever tried the Stinger brand? The Honey Stinger? It's got like a B on it. I have, and yeah, I have. They're delicious, I think. Yeah, those are my favorites. We we always get those. You can get them at REI. So we'll yeah. always get them when we're going on like uh, like hikes or something. But right, even right, those, right. like I just do like two a day. I I still can't. I'm still floored that you do like one an hour. One an hour, yeah. So, so yesterday I had three of these because I was running for over three hours. So, <laughs> what's your normal like mile pace? Uh, my normal mile pace is somewhere between like eight thirty and eight forty five. Okay. That's the time yeah. I normally get up. So, That's funny. No, this is. <laughs> <laughs> So what you said, the one you normally eat is raspberry? Yeah, the one I normally eat is raspberry. Of the same brand? No, it's a Cliff Shots. So. I had thought there'd be actual um, chia seeds in here. I guess I misinterpreted the chia energy part. No, I think they're Ooh. ground up. Yeah, there I can. Yeah. There's like some ground up something in mm-hmm. here. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It almost tastes like the strawberry, the little bits of strawberry yeah. and strawberry jam. Yeah. Uh, I can yeah. tell if it's seeds or not. Uh, usually they don't have like ground up pieces in there so i can powered powdered chia seeds is yeah. with it so they must have been ground up in case it oh um Allison, you're as our guest you're going to start us off tell us what you think of this you've had a lot of gels before tell us what you think and what rating you give it um i don't like this actually at all i, I the texture is i don't like the texture because they usually don't have anything ground up in them so i don't like that and it's way too sweet for me. So, and I, I, I actually could imagine eating this like on toast because it does taste like like straight up jelly or jam. So, uh, what's the rating? I think I'm gonna give it a, a dislike. That. Oh, there's no th. <laughs> <laughs> A dis, a dislike That's dad. Right. <laughs> Learn English. A dislike dad. All right. Yeah. It's a dislike to start. Man, I love your podcast. Wait, what's the rating? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> a dislike. Um, yeah. All right. Um, a dislike to start. Um, Geiger, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, if 
You told yeah. me I got to suck strawberry jam out of a thing. I might start running. That's not a bad deal. I can do that. <laughs> oh. Um, the powder, mm. actually, I would be with you. if I would be grossed out more if it was actual chia seeds in there. I, chia seeds look nasty to me. I've never actually had them. Uh, mm. I had a chia pet. I think those are different. But uh, <laughs> I, I don't chia mind Chia seeds this. come from chia pets. Oh, is it, you do harvest them from the That's chia? That's how they reproduce. the chia plants? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind this that much. It's uh, I don't like it's powdered down enough that you don't notice the chunks. To me, it tastes like strawberry jam. This is good. Um, I would eat this. Uh, in fact, if there's enough caffeine in here to replace a cup of coffee, maybe I could just do that in the car on the way to work tomorrow. I'm not gonna run, but uh, this one's this caffeine, one's caffeine free. free. God yep. damn it! Yep. Uh, yeah. There you go. But <laughs> I get to like that. This tastes good. Oh. I guess you have to go wow. back to your life of. Eating shit and <laughs> killing yourself <laughs> yeah. 20 years earlier. All right, I guess it's <laughs> two bagels with egg and cheese and bacon on it. Eh. Oh, well. Mm. All right. Um, Chad, you're up next. Bagel. Um, this is very bad. It's so off putting. <laughs> the consistency yeah. is a train wreck. I could not imagine having this thing while I'm running. And yeah. I mean, I guess it tastes like strawberry jam, but also it doesn't taste anything like strawberry jam. Like only in just that it's like smashed up strawberries. I would never want to eat this on toast. I'd just be like, why don't I just have strawberry jam? This is the worst running gel I've ever had. Whoa. Hate that. So quick question. Are you guys just comparing them to other running gels then? It was maybe my naivety in the area of running gel. Uh <laughs> changing uh, my perception I didn't, well i don't know i just i just don't i just don't want to squeeze any more of this into my mouth yeah it, i think I'm, i think both i think it is terrible and also in comparison to other running okay. gels um like it tastes like the raspberry one that it tastes like a terribly rancid version of the one that i usually I ate have. all mine do you i i watched you do that yeah you, <laughs> you'll come around this podcast a lot you'll see that often that's not that oh, all about okay. right <laughs> oh, the entire bag of ruffles is gone too. Chad, you. I, was, yeah. I don't want to squeeze any more of this into my mouth, was the title of your launcher profile, correct? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, okay. I I don't know what, Geiger, I like it too. Thank you. <laughs> the I, oh, no. I, my expectations were so low for this. They were so low for these uh, gels, and it tastes like strawberry jam. I like the little bits of whatever in there. It makes me feel more like I'm eating jam. Mm. Strawberry jam is little pieces of something. So I think that's helping it. I was worried about the consistency, mm. and I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm also going to give it a like that. Oh. So who's the real athlete, mm. huh? We were really liking the <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> the two guys that talked about putting it on toast. <laughs> Every athlete. You know what's great when you're running is a nice warm piece of bread. Mm. <laughs> well, she was All saying right. people eat it before they run. So, but yeah. Okay. I can't imagine doing that at all. <laughs> I, I have a friend I have a friend who was training for the um, she was doing the Maui half marathon or something her and her husband and her husband decided to chug an entire naked juice oh. right before like one of their training runs their like tw- ten mile training run and two miles into the run he just pulled over to the side of the road and just started oh. puking then he had to walk the whole rest of the way <laughs> yeah. so this would probably yeah. make me do that all right let's do the sea salt chocolate one next just to go the total opposite direction. Um, so now the rest of these are a company called GU. Yes. Uh, which is it's that a, a big goo? Goo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, goo. Goo. Is that goo. is that a big is that a a, a popular company for these yes. gels? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Right. So yeah, I won't ruin some of the other flavors, but you'll see with one of the other flavors, this has definitely been around a while. So. So on the back of the on all these goo containers, it says goo. five before every forty-five. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm supposed to do what? I, I, you're, I, I thought that I used to say 15 before every 45. But anyways, it means that you're supposed to have it before every 45 minutes that you're running. So okay. that's Take five kinda, of them? Five, five I don't know. 100 <laughs> calories every 45 minutes? Um, I'm not sure why that says five. I thought it used to say 15. I could have sworn. Hmm. But that definitely says five. So I'm not sure. But that's why I have it every hour. So, All right, let's try yeah. this chocolate one. It smells pretty good. This says Roctane Ultra Endurance. Roctane. Yeah, I don't know what Roctane oh. is. 
It's pretty cool, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's super. It's cool. like normal octane. Yeah. Now these ones do have caffeine, so it's really good that we're recording this yeah. so late at night. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I do like chocolate and sea salt. Does... <laughs> Ooh, that it is salty. Like salty. Wow. Does it actually have salt in it? Uh huh. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. It's salty. Uh-huh. They're not like chunks oh. of salt. Cool. Oh. I think they made this mm. at Portillo. This thing is salty AF. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the fry cook. Oh. Oh, wow. Ugh. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, Geiger, you're starting this time. What do you think of the chocolate? I think it's oh. terrible. This is like, it smelled good. Uh, I like chocolate. <laughs> what I don't like is chocolate under a metric fuck ton of sea salt. <laughs> this is so salty. I can't. Okay, here's the thing. I'm running, right? This is how you do it, right? You move your arms like this. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. Have you you lost me already? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you got to move your legs too. That's right. Uh, I'm running along, and I'm like, oh, finally the hour's up. I'm ready to have my delicious energy gel, and I just eat like a fucking packet of salt. How is that gonna (laughs) hydrate me or make me feel better? Um. I'm sure there's science behind well, it. This, is, yeah. this tastes bad. Yeah, you actually sh- you should eat salty stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get. It. <laughs> That's what they have. I actually have like capsules yeah. that are salt, just like straight up salt. Um, and yeah, I seriously, and they're <laughs> yeah. Running sounds the, the better the longer we talk. It's, yeah, no, kill your body and then no, eat salt. Yeah, they are yeah. actually salt cool. tablets that I have too. So, <laughs> like, instead instead of like Gatorade at the end of the race, you just drink ocean water. Is that what you do? My husband was like, you should you should have them try those, and I'm like, but I, I mean, it's literally like swallowing a pill of salt. <laughs> So there's no taste. <laughs> I think you made the right decision by I, not wasting our time right. with that. <laughs> Next week, tune into our thoughts on aspirin. Uh, yeah. so, real quickly, yeah. this thing's trash. Okay. Uh, this is a hate that. This tastes like shit. I'm not. Oh, wow, really? Really? Oh. Okay. really? It's just, oh. it's all salt. Hate? Mm. Okay. <laughs> it Chad, overwhelms the chocolate. Um. So when we when I, I said just like a minute ago that the strawberry was the worst um, energy gel I'd ever had, that's because I had not tried this oh, one no. yet. The salt is so overwhelming. And I, the fact that I like chocolate so much, like I could I could deal with this. Like I could fuck with this, except all the salt makes it so that I I can't even I can't even tolerate it. Like I drank a ton of water just to try to get it out. This is the worst energy gel I've ever had in my life. Hate that. Yeah, boy. Here we go. All right. It's salty, yes, but it's not as bad as you guys are making it out to be. Um, I I don't even mind eating it. I don't want to eat a lot of it because we have a lot more to come, but to me, I could take this or leave it. It could be better, but it's not terrible. I'm going to give it an indifferent debt. So two hates and an indifferent. Allison, what do you say? All right. Well, actually, so I, I'm I'm gonna actually say I like this. So um, the salt for me is actually a positive because I just told you that I also swallow just capsules of salt while I run sometimes. So um, if I could get that in like chocolate form instead of like popping pills, like, I think that would <laughs> actually be more acceptable and a, it's a positive for me. So. Um, I it's got a weird aftertaste though. Um, it's really thick, so I'm gonna go like that. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go like that. Yeah. All right. So we've got uh, two hates and a different and a like. Mm. We are really spread out on these gels so far, um, and they're both kind of <laughs> uh, similar scores to balance out. So we'll do one more before we do our segment. Um, let's let's put the waffle in the middle. I know we got this taste of chocolate in our mouth. We'll yeah. keep it going. Uh, we have an energy uh, stroop waffle, yes. and we have tried we tried a dessert waffle in another episode long ago, um, but it wasn't a an energy variety. Um, this one no, it's just a regular stroop waffle. Right, yeah. this one is still goo, still made by goo. Goo. <laughs> so let's see if uh, we like this chocolate a little better than we liked uh, the the gel overall. Now, I've tried these before, but not this flavor, I think. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of flavors, yeah. 
Yeah. Because hmm. I remember we thought about getting them before we took we took some trip, I think, uh, when we were going to Patagonia, and we're like, oh, maybe we could have these, but we just decided they were, like, too dry to have oh. when you're, like, on a hike. It says you can taste, you can have it with your morning coffee uh, during an ultra marathon or a grand fondo. What's a grand fondo? The- I- <laughs> Do you see that? Yep, those are the three applications. <laughs> okay. of grand fondo and two others. What's a grand fondo? <laughs> Yeah, it says warm it. The Grand Fondo is when you get a whole bunch of lunchers together <laughs> yeah. at once. <laughs> they all participate in the Grand Fondo. Okay. Um, and they eat these for energy. Chad, you're up first. What do you think of this stro- Stroop waffle? Well, it started off okay. Like, first couple bites. Uh, the flavor is not horrible. But then, like, as you start to chew it, it just becomes this, like, grainy, mealy, like, it, it tastes like I have a bunch of sand in my mouth now, is the best way to describe it. And I think if I'm if I'm doing anything that's, like, requires me to be, like, huffing and puffing and stuff, like, this is just going to be annoying. <sighs> um, maybe if I had, yeah, if I had it with, like, you know, if I drank coffee, like, with a cup of coffee or, like, with... Um, you know, glass of milk or hot chocolate or something, maybe it'd be okay. On its own, I can't abide. Uh, this is going to get a dislike that for me. All right. Um, I agree with everything you said, except for that it started off good. <laughs> this is pretty bad. It's super dry. <laughs> I'd much rather have the gel than this, honestly. Um, it's not awful. I could finish it if I had to. I'm just going to give it a dislike that. So a couple of dislikes to start. Allison, what do you think? Um, I actually like this. <laughs> oh, I gave it away right away. I actually like this. Um, I <laughs> spoiler spoiler. <laughs> um, I no, nope, you give the rating. You're done. Anyway, so here's my thirty. <laughs> I, I can't imagine having this while I'm running, though. And I, maybe if I was hiking, but I, not while I was actually running. This seems like kind of big and unwieldy. Um, I would definitely not have it with coffee. I think that's disgusting. Um, but because I've, I've had actual Stroopwafels um, in Amsterdam and, and they don't taste like this. So no, they I, don't. no, they definitely do not. Uh, I do like them. I do like this, but I wouldn't have it while I was running. Maybe hiking. So I like that? Yeah, it's like that. I keep eating okay. it. Okay, two dislikes and a like. Um, Geiger, would you picture yourself and you're in a Grand Fondo, right? <laughs> so is this, would this make the Grand Fondo better, make it worse? What do you think? And to be clear, a Grand Fondo is a meeting of luncher, yes. right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it, my attention is going to be on food, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, uh-huh. I might need one of these for energy. I mean, to keep going in the Grand Fondo, I might need like a <laughs> slimy packet of salted watermelon or the fuck we're going to eat later. But, uh, yeah, no, this is, um, this to me is the definition of an indifferent to that snack. It's just, uh, it tastes sugary. It doesn't taste chocolatey. It doesn't taste syrupy. It doesn't taste waffly. It just tastes like sugar. It's fine. It's like a sh- like a subpar cookie. It's it's all right. I don't. It's like the worst thing I've eaten. I think Allison brings up a good point in that. I think it would look hilarious <laughs> if someone you know, like watching a marathon and someone's got this giant <laughs> disc of a cookie just gnawing on it while they're running. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like a snack. I would per- picture someone eating while doing yeah. a physical activity. Um, and uh, so I would give it a straight down the middle, indifferent to that. Ooh, we are spread out again, a like and indifferent, and two dislikes. So someone keep Chad, are you keeping track of this? You usually do. Yeah, I got it. Okay, yep. so we know who, who's bag. winning. We're spread out again. Is the profile on your luncher profile correct? <laughs> 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 um, All right. Right now, it is a tie between the Stroop waffle and the strawberry gel. Okay, so it's segment time. Chad, what do you got for us? Um, real quick, do you guys want to actually know what a, uh, grand, what was it? Grand bot, grand, a, gr- a grand fondo, grand fondo. F-O-N. Do you actually want to know what it is? Sure. I can yes. tell you. It is a <laughs> long distance bicycle race. Oh, oh bicycle. boring. 
Right. So, all right. All right. <laughs> Meetup of lunchers. <laughs> Five or more lunchers <laughs> meeting um, in Portillo's parking lot. That's what it means now on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my friends went over to the Grand Fondo. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, it is uh, fall now for most of the country. And uh, so what we are going to do is we're going to return to a previous segment that we've done before called Dis or Dat, where you have to pick between uh, two things. I'll give you two things. You pick which one you want and tell me why. So we're going to do a fall-themed Dis or Dat. So I got three things for you. <clears throat> All right. First up, fall-themed Dis or Dat. Pumpkins, carving, or eating? What do you think, Allison? I- Who's eating pumpkins? I mean, I, I guess at, at flavor, pumpkin flavor. Okay, sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, what the fuck, pumpkin? <laughs> Who's eating pumpkins? Like, fuck okay. everyone. Oh, Pie, bread, okay, bread, cookies. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not asking you to like be like a snapping turtle or something and just bite right into a raw pumpkin. Okay, so... <laughs> Jesus Christ! So... <laughs> Entire head of cabbage. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I didn't get it. Okay. So you mean like cooked into things? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I just imagined like a whole pumpkin. So yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm, we got it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go eating. Uh, does that include the seeds? Good. Absolutely. You don't. I mean, like you don't have cook to. And oh, eat a pumpkin I see. Seeds. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you can cook the seeds yeah. and eat those. Yeah, I love to. Yeah, I love to eat pumpkin sure. seeds. So, and we've already established that also means cutting it up and cooking it into things. So, I'm gonna go with uh, eating pumpkins. All right, Gmap. Yeah, I'm eating pumpkin too. Uh, you know, like a nice pumpkin meatloaf or a bowl of pumpkin wheaties <laughs> in the morning. No, uh, I, <laughs> I love pumpkin seeds. Uh, I really like them a lot, and I lo- like pumpkin pie. Might be. My favorite pie. I know that's probably controversial, but I love pumpkin pie. Um, carving them is fun. Uh, it's more like my kids draw something on there and go like that, and like my son will have some hugely elaborate thing that he knows I can't pull off, and then I just sort of make a crude approximation of it and go like, eh. Uh, so it's more of like an exercise in like wasting a Sunday for me, but it's fun for the kids. I liked it when I was a child. But I'd much rather eat a pumpkin pie than carve one up. Um, I'm also going to go eating. I think pumpkin flavored stuff is delicious. Pumpkin bread in particular is one of my faves. I think carving pumpkins blows. Um, I think it's boring. <laughs> I think it's hard. I'm not artistic in the slightest. So well, I can't even do like a... Of a rather innocuous activity. <laughs> Yeah. Sucks. It is hard. I, it's super I hard. I can't even do like a it regular face yeah. with two eyes no. and a smiley. It ends up looking like all fucking jacked. Um, so <laughs> yeah. that's why they call it a jack o lantern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Just retire on that. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, Novak. What about you? I'm the only one that's going to be off here. I don't like pumpkin flavored stuff. I, I'll eat the seeds. That's about as far as I'll go. But I actually don't even really like pumpkin pie. I like how I like the smell of pumpkin foods, but I don't like pumpkin flavored things. And that even that even goes with me sucking at car- carving pumpkins is fun. I'm not like I can't not put two eyes and a smile on a pumpkin. I'm not sure what's difficult about that. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but my pumpkin carving skills that I had when I were eight are the same pumpkin carving skills I have now. I've gained no no ability to do it, even though I've done it many times now. So I'm still I'm going to be the sole chooser of carving hmm. all right uh moving on here next fall theme dis or dat here we go geiger fall foliage or christmas lights on houses which one do you like to look at more don't care uh i <laughs> guess christmas lights yeah i could i mean gotta pick one fall foliage is pretty in its nature and all that i i, I think it lasts less long if I'm not mistaken, like it feels like there's less of it to see. Uh, and it usually just means in my case that I'm going to be raking soon. So uh, I don't know. I like Christmas a lot as a holiday. And so the lights and everything I think are kind of neat. We used to go when I was kids. Um, when I was kids, I was multiple children. I had a split personality. <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> Before you merged into one person. <laughs> uh, I had uh, lunches with myself. 
uh, all <laughs> we took turns. Uh, no, so it, uh, I would go with my mom and my dad and my <laughs> sisters and we'd go look at like certain lights, like certain streets had everything all done up really cool. So, uh, I would take Christmas lights. All right. Novak. All right. I'm going to pick fall, the uh, the fall foliage because it actually is a fall thing. Whereas right. Christmas lights <laughs> are not a fall thing. You dumbass. I mean, so. <laughs> fallish. <laughs> Look, there's only one season in San Francisco, all right? I don't rem- I can't tell them apart anymore. I mean, technically, fall starts, like, goes through December, right? Goes into, like, December yeah, 21st right. or something. Yes. Um, they're pretty cool. Yeah, who's the dumbass now? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think of it as, oh, what's your favorite fall things? The Christmas lights. <laughs> I love the Christmas lights. <laughs> you know what I hate about fall? Paying my taxes. What? <laughs> um, now, here's the reason I, look, I like looking at Christmas lights, but now that I have a house and children, I have to put them up, which is a huge pain in the ass, and I don't have to do anything to sit and watch the, the fall colors, so I'm going to go with the fall foliage. That's a fair point. You don't have to put them up. We don't. Well, yeah, if you hate Jesus. <laughs> Is that what that was? I don't know. Yes, Hold that's on. you. That's what I've thought of you. I've been... Hey, I hate Jesus and love Christmas lights. Allison, what do you think? All right. <laughs> Um, I'm with Novak on this one. Also, that's the first thing I thought of too, uh, when you said Christmas lights in fall. So I thought of those people that like are already putting up their Christmas trees or like, have you seen that where like stores have Christmas trees out like at the end of August? (laughs) Yeah, it's way too early. Um, and I, (laughs) it's way too early. I hate that. Um, so I got Christmas creep. Yeah. Christmas creep thing. Yeah. So, so I got to go with Christmas creep. Know. You're the Christmas creep. <laughs> 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 That's the title of your so, launcher profile. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I got to go with the so foliage, yeah, foliage for, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm, all right. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go last. Uh, this is a slam dunk Christmas lights. Here's the take fall foliage sucks ass green is a better color (laughs) than orange i don't like orange trees i want my trees green and healthy and vibrant foliage is a sign of death it means that this tree is weak because it wasn't like a year-round conifer style tree (laughs) fuck those trees give me christmas lights you just don't understand how nature works i think it has nothing to do with (laughs) <laughs> yeah, look at well, that I weak ass Christmas tree dropping all its leaves. Pussy just screaming at the tree. <laughs> Sack up. <laughs> all right. Last one. Last fall, dis or dat. And this is actually a dis, dat, or the other one. So we've got uh, three choices here. <laughs> we got uh, wit- pit- pick your poison here. Which do you like best? We got Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Jason. <laughs> or Saint Nick. Go back, you go first. <laughs> oh, all right. I last place would be. I never liked Freddy Krueger very much. I thought it was mm. it's just like a wisecracking. I thought it was it was a s- stupid concept for a movie, killing people in his dreams. Never liked it. And uh, the deaths were. Are you always... saying you don't like child molesters? Is that the hot take? <laughs> you have here? Wait, is that what he did? I'm gonna ma- I'm gonna come out and take a stand. I know. I've been, I think so. I've been flip flopping on all the rest, all the other episodes. I'm gonna finally take a stand on this. <laughs> Um, so Freddie's the worst. I'm going to, I'm going to have to say the best is probably Michael Myers. Um, I honestly have probably haven't seen too many of the, uh, Jason movies. Um, so I'm going to go with the Halloween movies, Michael Myers as my top pick. All right. Allison, what do you think? Okay. Well, I'm thinking and I'm racking my brains and this is going to be absolutely terrible but i think if you showed me a picture of one of those right now i would have a <laughs> like, uh, now, you know freddie was the lead singer of queen yeah oh okay. <laughs> freddie mercury so freddie krueger's got the like he's got the pointy okay. he has like the long metal nails yeah he's got wolverine okay. style and he's got claws, a striped shirt and he's got a burn burn scars oh, all over right. his face jason wears a hockey okay. mask and michael myers is just like a big does, some, does something, something where like <laughs> he, he also has a mask, like a right? He's a, mask. He's a big white guy. 
<laughs> He's really good He's at just basketball. Just a big old white, <laughs> just a huge white privilege. Oh, <laughs> was there was there one of them that drowned at like a summer camp? Was it? That's Jason. Yeah, that's Jason. Oh. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's the one you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's my sure, thing okay, sure cool. sure uh, uh so i'm gonna go with uh i'm gonna go with jason because i knew that about him so <laughs> okay yeah good <laughs> <laughs> all right um so i'm actually gonna go uh i'm gonna go freddy krueger because i like the cheesy one-liners the, the other two are mostly like silent killers but i like that freddy krueger he has those like super lame you know dumb one-liners like uh like Way to sleep in, bitch! After he like c- kills them in their bed or something. Um, yes, that sounds pretty witty. Yeah, super witty. <laughs> so uh, give me, give me that sweet, sweet Freddy Krueger. Geiger, what do you think? All right, Geiger, it's a, 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 everyone has one vote. You're breaking the tie here. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, I'm kind of with Allison. I have never seen any of these movies somehow. <laughs> what? I know. Uh, I mean, I unlike Allison, know who they are because I'm aware of pop culture. Uh, <laughs> But uh, so back up one second real quickly. Yeah. The plot of Nightmare Before Elm Street is that Freddy was sexually molesting kids. I think that's <laughs> yeah. I think he was like a child molester and then died in a fire. Right. Oh, uh, I don't know. To be honest, I've never actually seen the first one. The only Freddy Krueger and the only Jason movie I've seen is Freddy vs. Jason. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> where he must have uttered those immortal words, "Wake up, bitch," or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, well, he has a claw hands. Does he have? A, he said he has a metal claw hands. It's just like a glove yeah. he puts on that has metal attached to it. Yeah. Well, okay. He, he made it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Allison looks so disappointed. Oh, is that he just bought it? That's, oh. I didn't know if that was like part of getting burnt in the fire or something. So no, he's got various luncher clients who are really into that kind <laughs> okay. of thing. Okay. I guess if forced to choose, why not? I'll take Michael Myers just to do the one vote each yeah. because yeah. it's funny and because I love big white guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, great. That was great. our fall theme, just a day. All right, we've got two gels to go. We'll get through them as quickly as we can here. We'll we're gonna save birthday cake for last because, of course, we have to. Um, we're gonna do salted watermelon next. Yeah. All right. Um, not looking forward. Just the very name, salted watermelon, seems backwards. Yeah. So I'm not sure. So this is uh, one of the most popular flavors. Um, really? Just yeah. This is the one that they actually recommended to me when they were being super nice to me in the store. Uh, as like the one that they can't keep in stock because people love it. It's so. the most popular goo. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's no <laughs> smell, really. So. Uh, oh. Wow. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Interesting. <laughs> no. Hmm. Is it oh. sour? Is it sweet? I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> All of these things at once. It's green. It's like salty fruit butter. It tastes like a melted Jolly Rancher to me, actually. Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, that hmm. sad and vinegar on that. This is. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll go first. This is the worst one yet. There's something about the gel in this one that tastes gooier or something like it's more off-putting the texture of this one goo. than the rest <laughs> it says goo so i shouldn't be surprised but um yep, it's the name right. to me the worst one there is a water it does taste like salted watermelon somehow but yes. the concept is of a salted watermelon is a bad concept so um the flavor accuracy is right on but it's terrible so i'm gonna give it a hate that uh for me allison what do you think um Actually, so if, if, if I'm, you know, picture me like I'm out there running for over four hours, well, hopefully slightly under four hours, uh, and I'm looking forward to eating these things every hour, I actually love this. <laughs> I actually oh. love this. I, I've been wanting to try this flavor for a while, uh, and it comes highly recommended. So <laughs> I actually love it. Now, the idea of actually putting salt on a watermelon sounds terrible to me, Um but this is good. I love it. Okay. A yeah. hate and a love. We've we've gone to these yeah. total extremes. Um, Geiger, what do you think? Based on yeah, his we face. Could, we just see your face moving. Geiger, you're muted. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, Were you saying something really intelligent? I could guess what he was saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <No. laughs> yes, sir. Why start now? What is watermelon truly? Uh, I hate watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I don't like the flavor at all. Uh, I mean, I just don't like a watermelon. Even the fresh watermelon is in front of me. I hate watermelon. We've gone over this. So this already was going to lose for me. Uh, it did nothing to help it by dumping a shitload of salt on it. it I'm with <laughs> Novak, too. It tastes... It's like got a different consistency than the others. It's like gooier or like stickier or something. I can't put my uh, finger on it, but... Uh, and I certainly don't want to put my finger in it because it's disgusting. So I will uh, throw this away, <laughs> having not tasted it again, and give this. I hate that. This is gross. Was uh, I certainly want to? Don't want to put my finger in it because it's disgusting. The title of your luncher profile. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, one slight edit. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right, uh, two hates and a love. Chad, where are you at? Um, well. Uh... <laughs> I do like watermelon, um, and oh, look, on its own, I would not, like, just go buy one of these and just, like, snack on it. Like, oh, it's, like, a Tuesday afternoon and, you know, sitting down to watch a movie. <laughs> I think I'll grab one of these. But for the purposes of running, <laughs> if I was running and I needed, like, a, a pick-me-up, I think this would hit the nail right on the head. I think for the purposes of what this is trying to do, I think it accomplishes it perfectly. I'm right in line with Allison. I'm giving it a love dat. What? Love it. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like there's something. <laughs> there, these are made for obviously for people who run like in mind because we are so split. You guys like all the ones that uh, that we don't like. So there's there's something to the science here. Um, does that put it up ahead, Chad? Of the uh... it is currently in the lead. Yeah. Wow. Just barely. You gotta wow, be wow, wow, shitting wow. me. Yeah. Unbelievable. I love it. <laughs> Do we think what are the chances birthday cake flavor is gonna pass? <laughs> uh. All right. So the reason we left birthday cake for last is because, of course, because of our very famous uh, Robert Irvine Fit Crunch birthday cake bar. Um, yes. And yeah. I made sure I told Allison to make sure she listened to that yes. before. We I, I just so we listened that. to that one. The yeah. most hated food in the history of our show. Yeah. I could just imagine, and then I had to look up what it looked like, and what, uh, and then Nick showed me a picture of Robert Irvine because I had also never heard of him. So <laughs> he, played he showed Jason. me a picture of him. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a big white. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised you didn't know Robert Irvine, but now that I know you don't even know who Freddy Krueger is, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> 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 exactly. You need to right. stop running and like watch TV every once in a while. Right? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. I mean, I had heard of Freddy Krueger for the record, but <laughs> I heard yeah. of him. Yeah. I knew one of them died in a summer camp. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, now this one is also caffeine free. So okay. Yeah, I, I mean, was wondering if there'd be like sprinkles in here. I normally not. prefer my birthday cakes with caffeine in them. <laughs> right. You know. Mm. I like people to, I like my birthday cake. I just want to yeah. pour like an entire can of soda over my birthday cake. So, so you like coffee cake then? It smells awful. Oh God, this smells disgusting. So this is for the 25th anniversary of goo. So I don't know if this is like a limited flavor Ooh. or. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I will say this is better than the fifth crunch barbell we ate. Or no, you guys disagree? <laughs> it is better than that. Yeah. This is this. Oh. This oh. just tastes like frosting. It's just frosting in a can or in a, yeah. in a packet. Frosting, it's like vanilla frosting. Yeah, it does taste like frosting. If this was frosting on your cake, you'd be happy. No, like, who, I don't. Who, who I don't immediately love all frostings. <laughs> oh, any frosting, sign me up. No, but it does taste like frosting. You're Mr. Frosting. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe that woman at the store who puts it on like her toast, like she could put this on her cake too. Mm -hmm. That's what they told me. No. <laughs> cool. Cool. When you want to eat a whole cake before you run? Can you imagine running with this in your gut? They were handing out <laughs> cake at those uh, energy stations, so maybe they should have just been yeah. handing out these instead. Oh. All right, let's oh. see if birthday cake bar can take it home. Um, Allison, you're leading off here. What do you think of birthday cake? No, this is this is terrible. I don't, you guys are saying it tastes like frosting. I, 
I, no, definitely. <laughs> I don't know what kind of frosting this is supposed to be. If it's, just, I can't tell if it's like chocolate or vanilla or strawberry. You keep um, eating it though, so you better not say hate that. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> no, no, I do. I do hate it. I do hate it. I really do. Okay. I don't know what, what that's do you supposed do? to be. It's a hate. I hate it. You don't. You don't hate that, it. I, oh, hate oh <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. Oh, 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 no, I get it. Okay. Okay. For a brief second, you dads. like slipped right. to another language. Right. <laughs> hate dads. I hate dads. But you did just eat well, a bunch. That's the Nick Gagger defense. I was uh, trying. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say, but I'm hungry afterward. You know, it gets you okay. I was trying to figure out what flavor frosting it was supposed to be, but I, I don't know. I hate it. Hate that. All right. Um, Gagger, what do you think? Yeah, I don't mean to be. This really makes me sound like a slovenly dickhead who hates any running thing or whatever, but this is my third straight hate debt. This, or maybe my fourth, I can't remember, but this is horrible. Um, this is gross. I don't like it. Uh, I hate it, in fact. Hate debt. It is, uh, I do think it tastes like frosting, just bad frosting. And it's got a horrible aftertaste. And again, I just cut back to it. Maybe, maybe people who are running are in so much pain and agony and hate it yes. so much that literally anything yes. they can put in their mouth take like <laughs> yes. a respite from running. That so in that context, maybe this would be good, but I can't picture like running and eating this bag of sugar. It is terrible. <laughs> hate that. Ooh, two hates. And I'll, I'm going to go here because I want to create a little drama. Um, this is awful. It's the worst one today. It's worse than salted watermelon. It's <laughs> inedible. I couldn't possibly take any put any more of this into my mouth that's the title of my lunch profile and <laughs> i'm giving this a third hate that so chad three hates yeah what will you do well here's the thing okay uh i like birthday cake right. and i like cake All right. and i said earlier that um the chocolate sea salt was the worst energy gel i've ever had in my life Herb. Uh, mm. this is the worst energy gel I've ever had in my life. This thing is so fucking bad. <laughs> it's just so sickly sweet. It's just a bag of sugar. I could not imagine ever, ever, ever having this during a workout or while sitting on my lazy ass anytime ever. Do I never want this. All Hate right. that. It's horrible. All right. There's a nice right. flaming bag of dog shit is the <laughs> birthday cake goo. <laughs> So the birthday cake flavored <laughs> items are really had a rough go. With us. <laughs> Why do they make these? I don't know. <laughs> so bad. Who likes Specifically this Specifically birthday shit? cake too. It's not like chocolate cake. Well, that's the thing. Or... I don't know anyone who on their actual birthday wants a birthday cake flavored birthday cake, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like that generic birthday cake flavor. That's right. not a good cake either. There's plenty of better dessert options. I always have a cheesecake. There you go. So, right. yeah. Cheesecake is good. Yeah. We got that for my wife this there year. I like chocolate cake or like an Oreo cake, Reese's cake. And <laughs> yeah, we almost made it through one app without a Reese's <laughs> name drop. Gotta squeeze it in. Yeah, where's the Reese's goo? Right. <laughs> Reese's goo. Just a melted Reese's paper <laughs> cup you're squishing into your mouth. That's right. <laughs> All right, Geiger. Uh, uh, let us know where, let the listeners know where they can contact us. Well, if you're like Allison and you have no idea about any movies, you might want to hit up imdb.com. Uh, we'll be there. You can find out the cast of Jason and Freddy Krueger and whatever else that these, uh, what is it, Michael Myers. So you Halloween, don't know the third one it. either. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I haven't seen them. But, uh, or you, you can. Think, what's up? Do you think that um, they would make a flavor of this goo that is like. Um, Children flavored, and then they would market it to serial killer Freddy Googer. <laughs> Great. Oh boy. Keep going, Gagger. <laughs> if you would like to recommend edits to the podcast uh, where we should definitely cut things out, <laughs> you can get a hold of us at you try to add gmail.com. Uh, we're on Instagram, YouTube, Stitcher, um, Facebook. We have a you tried that group, Twitter, hashtag you tried that. Uh, it is dat, not right. it. Or dat. that, but dat. <laughs> We've learned that as well today. Uh, but uh, as always, we thank you for your participation. 
uh, for letting us know uh, downloads. And again, a big thank you to Allison for giving us all these snacks and for joining us. It was really a, a lot of fun to have you on today. You're welcome. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having all right. me. The very final question that everyone must answer. Um, so there's going to be a luncher. It's going to be Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and Jason. They're going to meet in a parking lot. Oh, no. Supposedly to have sex, I guess. <laughs> They're not just eating lunch? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's going to be the result? The result? Like, yeah. who's, who's going right. to come first? What they all come and walk away? I don't want to, uh, what is the result of sex to you? I don't... <laughs> well, I... <laughs> well, Freddie's going to impregnate they... Jason. Here, let me draw it for you. <laughs> <laughs> what talking about. Is, are they going to wind up killing each other or not? Oh. Are they just going to have a good time? Oh. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah it's, yep. Sure. I'm still trying, it's luncher. It's I'm luncher. To These boys out... came to fuck. They came to fuck, man. I mean, I'm sure there's a porn like called Jason XXX already. We could probably just watch probably. it. Probably. <laughs> what are you still trying to figure out, Allison? Uh, what other weapons the other ones have? I don't know. One has like a claw. <laughs> uh, Jason has like a ma- big machete, right? A machete, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Jason, no, Myers. Jason has a chainsaw. Oh, right? Does okay. he? Have the, Does he? I don't know. I'm you never seen any of the movies. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> Why are you correcting me? I think uh, they both have machetes. Uh, Michael Myers just. Uh, is tall. <laughs> and he's really white. He has white privilege. <laughs> he's got a post up game. <laughs> he's got a mean hook shot. <laughs> his skin, his skin it is was so... really cool, though, when Michael Myers went on to star in Austin Powers. It was really neat. It's the same guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's his weapon is being groovy, baby. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Chad's weapon is a lack of shame. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll end it here. But again, Allison, thank you so much for coming on. You're welcome. We were, uh, had such a good time, and thanks for getting us this running, Joe. Yeah, you're welcome. So that will do it for uh, this time around. But we'll be back next time. We'll be trying out three brand new snacks. Gooses. Goo. <laughs>